A very good morning to you. Thank you so much for being part of this morning conversation. My name is Ram Aguko. As always, it is a pleasure being with you. This is Why in the Morning. And of course, we value your feedback. We appreciate your presence. Thank you so much for being part of this morning conversation. It is youth and politics. And as you can see in studio, my guests are already all set up for the conversation that we are supposed to, that we are going to be having today. Next to me is uh, Mil Kachebet Chumba. She is an uh, uh, aspirant vying for the member of county assembly for the ward rep of uh, hospital or ward in uh, Transoya. Mm -hmm. And of course, to my extreme right, I am with uh, Kiplagat Dennis Maguta, also MP, uh, in any uh, 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 aspirant uh, vying for the constituency of Kasarani. Uh, Karibu Nisana. Asante. Yeah. Uh, Kwa Niko mzima kabisa gangare. Asante. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh. and uh, Kiblagat, yes, uh, I'm very good. Uh -huh. I thank God this morning. Thank you. You so. also forgot to say that I'm a governance expert. Yes, <laughs> also <laughs> governance <laughs> expert. Thank you. <laughs> how how <Right>. dare I? <laughs> how? <laughs> should know people. Uh, should yeah. know people. <laughs> right. Thank you for coming, my brother. And uh, Asante Sana for Kokukuja. We value your feedback. Let us know what you think about these conversations that we shall be having on this particular uh, 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 show right here on youth and politics. And of course, to kick start this conversation before we. Kabla uh, uh, Siasa. There are people who have been arrested because of having phones during these KCSE examinations. Uh, uh, what do you think about that? Let me start with you, Blagat. Yes, uh, you see, with that, uh, it's so unfortunate that when you are doing something, you know that whatever you do, there is consequences. It doesn't matter if there are positive consequences or negative. But again, as a student, you need you need to think about yourself, about your future. Mm. Those who are caught now, they uh, 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 most probably their results are going to be stripped off. They are going again to repeat. Uh, they might go to jail. You see, so before they, you do something like that, as for the students who are doing the same um, the same thing, they should mm. think about their future because this is now about their future. They are going outside there to mm. meet life. So mm. if you have learned for four years, you better even come out with your C plus or, 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 or what, instead of trying to aim for that A mm. that is very risky for your entire life. The DCI the, the is really concerned yes. that these examinations could be compromised because of the high level of high level of cheating. And again, uh, again, the the schools, the schools are failing because they really need to take care of the students because at, at the end of the day they are still students so they might lie to each other let's have phones let's do this so the school the schools that where the students were caught are failing because mm. their principals and the school management need to really put strict measures so that they can stop these students from entering with phones to exam room because uh, the moment they are caught with the DCI of the Ministry of Education mm. the case now leaves the school and goes to the Ministry of Education with yeah. the DCI yeah. so yeah. the school need to protect their children these are their children just like the way the mother uh, never denies uh, his or her child wherever the child can becomes a thief so the school need to protect their children need to make sure that their children don't have the phones mm -hmm. quickly yes. oh, Ma Ma Niako, um, uh, about this particular issue yeah I feel so sorry for the students who are caught to the phones uh, during the examination and uh, I think it isn't uh, a good thing because as we mothers at home, mm -hmm. we train our children mm -hmm. to be faithful. Yeah. And also when they go to school, mm -hmm. they need to have that stand. Mm -hmm. They need to, ha to know that uh, from home I was told to be faithful mm -hmm. in every little thing. Mm -hmm. So I feel so sorry for our children that have been caught right now with the phones. Mm -hmm. And I also wonder how uh, that the kids were able to go to the room uh, with their phones because uh, those days when we were doing our exams mm. we had to be inspected first before yeah, we go yeah, to the yeah. um, to mm. the exam room so there, there's, so there's a problem with the inspection so I think it's because of the inspection yeah mm. I blame the, the 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 people that are there for the kids because they have to make sure mm. that the kids are okay and uh, they are set to do their exams mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah and, uh, and, and at the same time I wonder 
how do they get these leakages? <laughs> wana, I don't want to talk about it. They are they outside there and we have, you know, just like the way potatoes, you can lack one one uh, rotten potato in a, mm. in, a, in a sack. The way in our community, you still have some rotten people. It's unfortunate, but uh, it's good that the, we have seen them being arrested. Like mm. yesterday, you saw the, the, those students from, I think they were f one, another from Rongo University or something. So those are the rotten characters that are spoiling our children. You know, mm. it, 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 let's have the reality. We still have people that can still do some rotten behaviors, do something that is uh, the very questionable to the society. Mm -hmm. So still the, it might spread. So that's why I insist on having the school, the institution itself, uh, really inspecting their children and making sure their children are safe from these rotten characters. Mm -hmm. You see, those who are supplying those... Um, those uh, leakages were from universities. So, in fact, they don't have them, you see. So they, they are just <laughs> lying to, this, to mm. our students. And it's so unfortunate that our students are still naive. You find that uh, from four, a student can still be at four, uh, 15 years old, you see. So it's easy to manipulate such a student to, for, for higher grades. It's mm -hmm. easy to manipulate his or her mind. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's un it's so the school ne really need to watch out mm. about to, to keep my, my examinations. I love um, one particular, th uh, two things that are being done. The schools near the uh, 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 examination containers will be the last to receive the examinations. Mm -hmm. uh, the CS of uh, uh, Education Professor Mago has said so. Mm -hmm. And also instead of uh, uh, schools getting the exam their papers at six, uh, being opened, it's going to be open at 6.30 mm. so that there is, uh, you know, uh, 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 the interaction between the, uh, the, the e examination papers and the, you know, the, those, those for handling is reduced. Mm -hmm. um, do you think that you idea will it help? I don't think that is going to help because still if they have that time, mm. that duration of time of half an hour, yeah and yet they don't inspect the kids when they are going in, that's not gonna help. Wow. Yeah. So I'm still yeah. standing there that they need to be inspected. Yeah, because if they open the exams right there and the kids are already in class, they are waiting for their papers, mm -hmm. it won't make any difference. But I think that's strategic, mm -hmm. uh, just to reduce the time of uh, of interaction, uh, of interaction mm. and the spread of the same paper. You see, when the paper is opened, you don't know who might, uh, who might uh, do the, who might leak out the the questions to the to the to the now to the nation. Mm. So at least giving that little time yeah. between the commence of the examination and before, at least that that at least works. At, it's a, it's a good strategy. Mm. But I think for me, this leakage is done even before they take the papers to the schools. <laughs> <laughs> That's my thought. Because uh. for real, how do they just open the papers and they, the policemen are there and they take it straight to the classes and yet the leakage will still be there. They don't have that time. So for me, I think they do it before it gets there. Before it gets there. Yeah. Of course, let us know what you think about this particular issue here. The hashtag is why in the morning at Ram Aguk and at Y254 channel. What do you think about these issues that are making uh, headlines on this particular Monday morning? Let's move quickly. This week, uh, we are expecting to see uh, mass defections this week, uh, beginning today because uh, of the deadline that are set, because those who are shifting from any party, from one party to another, have only five days to the deadline. And after that, no shifting. And of course, after that, we are the registrar, that is uh, Anne Nderitu, has uh, you know, given the directive that uh, the date was arrived after uh, the interpretation of both the Elections Act and the Political Parties Act. And of course, according to, uh, to, to, to the individual, once the list has been handed over to her, they are going to uh, take it to IEBC a bit later on. But uh, uh, in regards to those who are uh, vying in, in, in for us as candidates, as independent, they have until May to be able to you know, uh, uh, settle on their mind. But still, this is a deadline. We have five weeks. Unona, what, what, is, what are your expectations? Are you going to see many leaving political parties this week by Saturday? Ah, uh, for me, 
uh, because I did my registration long time ago. Mm -hmm. And I think people that are serious to vie for these positions have already submitted their paperwork. Mm. So um, these people that have not yet submitted their paperwork should hurry up and uh, go to their parties and uh, submit their paperwork so that um, we don't have this rush and all that. Mm. But other than that, I wish everyone well that we may do um, to Fanya Kazinzuri. To Fanya Kazinzuri. Yeah. Zana Zama, eh? mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, uh, you see, uh, right now, I don't think that um, many people are going to defect, or those who are going to defect, maybe they would feel like they are not suited in the party that they want to go for the election with, or maybe they'll feel that uh, they'll be compromised nomination processes but uh, the the date is here the deadline is here and the time has gone already you see with the time that you have between now and August uh, you need to have settled your mind you need to have known which political vehicle am I using am I going with the the, 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 the Kenya Kwanza coalition or Azmio coalition or am I vying with the independent Again, you need to check at your ground. You see, your ground, your ground, no, no need to know where you are going at. Mm. Which vehicle are you using? Mm -hmm. Now, this is not the time just to say that I'm vying. You are vying as who, under who, and why are you vying? This is the time to, so, to so, defect. Yes, this is the time to defect. <coughs> if, if, um, in fact, uh, now, it, of course, you must defect if you want to before. Saturday before 26, but, but, because but, the deadline is here. But UDA is losing so many people. <laughs> ah, where? I don't Siri, think so. uh, let me give an example of a uh, citizen member of parliament who Aluke left yeah. UDA for Jubilee. That's why I was telling you, you need this time to check at your ground. You, you, know, you need to know where is your party strong, where you are, where you are fine, which party or which coalition is strong. That is the reality. As an aspirant, you cannot overdo that. You, you must check where I'm vying, which parties will win the day. So that's why you've seen people uh, moving. But uh, those who are running away from UDA, I think um, they did. I don't know why they are leaving because I, as, as for me, I feel like they, this is the safest place to be. This is the, the safest party to be, <laughs> where nomination cannot be com compromised, where everybody has this democratic right. There was, uh, there was some that were saying now, because of the issue of uh, uh, Ford Kenya and uh, ANC, where we have their party leaders, uh, Moses Rangula and uh, Mustafa Mudavadi, respectively, joining UDA, some feel it will compromise their position. Not that true. now that they, they, we have these two. Uh, coming in, especially in the in the uh, western region, mm -hmm. they feel like it will now compromise their position. Then they may not actually be able to get their seat, so they have to move to another party, so that their position is sealed. Meaning UDA is uh, still uh, trying to ensure that they retain their members. Are you seeing this as a negative thing, or is it positive for you? And why is it? You know, is uh, uh, you know. Why are people quiet about it? I, I, I don't see whether um, you know, UDA seems to be concerned. Is UDA concerned about it? Yes, <laughs> your thoughts? Maybe, okay, let me, let me, let me say on that. You see, mm. why UDA is quiet is because if, when you leave, you give somebody else a room. The UDA party is quiet because they know their strength. Mm. And, and as you know, this is a party that is one, uh, almost one and some few months old years. So when you feel like some people might feel because this party is new in this area mm. as an individual, but this is not as a party, as an individual, because this party is new, I'd, I'd like to move out to another party. Maybe my position might be compromised. But Musalia Mudavadi and Moses Wetangulia were not foolish to move to Kenya Kwanza coalition. They knew that this is the winning team. This is the winning party. And you see, as the CEO of, of their parties, they mm. knew that what is best for their party this is this is like their company this is this is their home so they knew this uh my home i'm taking my home to this place so that they it can nourish so i i want to tell you that in in the western part UDA has really picked has really picked and it is picking well 
the person that left like we're looking now you mm. see he has failed competition really hard competition that's why he feels like he want to hide his his mischief and his failure and his future failures by running away from the party so that he could say you see uh if i didn't run away i could have won you see so i am telling you the truth in western pa uh, in western western region, pa western region <coughs> the uda is picking well you've seen recent uh, campaigns where our, our our patron the the party leader of uda being uh, we leave alone that remember when he was away he was at the uh, abroad mm. uh, the uh, the dismas barasa pulled a very huge crowd yeah so it means that this party is really picking up well and is good is good for the day but as an individual if you feel pressed if you feel you see there is competition apart from the party uh, or, or uh, pu pushing you is th you still as an individual there is competition maybe you feel that others feel like they have failed and, um, and most of them who are running away are the failures they cannot bring the numbers they cannot bring the numbers so if they go it well and good UDA has, has no problem in fact they were a uh, collateral to UDA so uh, when you leave you're giving <laughs> <laughs> yes, your yeah I, I think uh, many people are running away because of the competition you know uh, in UDA people have loved the party and there are so many aspirants right there and um, they we have competitors mm -hmm. and I think he weighed himself and he saw that, oh, I'm not going to make it. But for me, I feel so good that we have about 10 aspirants and uh, the winning team will take the day. So 10 aspirants in, in, in your ward? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And um, I'm, I'm happy for that. You because guys are not I going like to competition. Out of Tokyo, you will not move As to another. Out of Tokyo, you will not move to another. Out of Tokyo, <laughs> kwa sababu ninasikia kwamba hiyo chama ni chama ambaye itakuwa na free and fair elections. Kila mtu kama mimi ni mama mboga mm. na nitapewa nafasi yangu kama mboga, kama mama mboga. Na nitaenda kuhusa sera zangu pale mm. wa mama wasikie na vile wamesema ya kwamba hii ni bottom up. Tunaanzia chini tukienda juu na kweli tumepewa nafasi kwa chama cha UDA hata mm. sisi wa mama mama mboga tunaweza kwenda pale nje tukausa sera zetu na wa mama pia wakaweza kuinuliwa so mimi ninasikia i'm proud kukua kwa hii chama na sibanduki mbanduki yeah. wewe utoki uh, live alone uh, uh, kutoka UDA but i won't leave the winning team that is Kenya Kwanza as <laughs> so even if anything happens in nomination uh, i won't leave the winning team kenya kwanza enjoying uh, the the losing team that is as right. so again you you need as you plan today you plan even tomorrow even as you plan tomorrow you plan 10 years to come as you plan today your life ram as when we, when you are <laughs> when you are looking for uh, for your spouse you're looking for her to marry her for the Future, future of your children mm. so now we uh, we came together as kenya kwanza for the future of the nation and the future of you as an individual Let's so look. listen yeah. so listen i'm not going to leave kenya kwanza because even after this uh, 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 this campaign period there is now life after election so we need to be in the government to work for the people in various even uh, various posts even those who will not win that's why people are not uh, advised to leave uda or kenya kwanza coalition because ah. this is the winning team you will be running the government together now let me look at uda mm -hmm. the future of uda mm -hmm. yes the madira member of parliament mm -hmm. honorable uh, regarding a shagwa mm -hmm. he has said that he wants ndindi nyoro member of parliament to uh, vie for uh, to, uh, actually not to vie but actually but to be put as the running mate of the deputy president william ruto mm. um, um, lakini kwa mambo ya ku deputize the president ambaye ni William Samoe Ruto
<laughs> president. <laughs> Ambayo ni naamini ya kwamba he will be the fifth hey. president hey. of the Republic of Kenya. I have faith in him. Kwa sababu yeye alianza kutoka chini na sasa ako mahali. So, ndindi nyoro pia ni kijana shupafu, ni kijana mwenye musimamo, ni kijana ambaye panduki. Lakini hiyo tunawachia deep state wenyewe wanaweza ongea pale na wakasikizana kama ingekuwa upande wangu mimi ningesema ndio anaweza fanya kazi anaweza fanya kazi anaweza kazi anaweza fanya kazi mzuri sana na anaweza kudeliver lakini kwa ajili ya mambo ya pale ndani mimi nawawachia um gashago said this and i quote uh. when a tree falls it gives out sprouts and Dindi Nyoro is one of them who we are looking up to. He continued and said, give us this man to go and help Ruto Ghana votes to be able to win the election and form the next government. Yes, uh, Rigadi Gashagwa is, ja, uh, is a member of parliament of uh, Madeira, Madeira, but then again, he's also a citizen and is a supporter of Kenya Kwanza. As just like me, I can give opinion of who should deputize uh, the the deputy president now, William Samuel Ruto. As uh, as you've heard from my colleague, Ndindi Nyoro can as well work perfectly as a deputy president of Kenya in the next government. But then again, we still have Musale Mudavadi. We still have the same regarding Gashagwa and many other people. And uh, for the deputy position. Uh, there are many things to consider to consider the number of votes that you might bring the what uh, how it would it would affect the entire nation there are many things because for example um deputy president automatically cannot choose a car engine to be his running mate mm. so they they might again consider giving that position to 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 to, to, to their to the women so right. that to, ge to, to gender balance sure. so i would like, like to say this mm. those were just opinion of the regarding member of parliament and he, he didn't say it under the capacity of the kenya kwanza coalition when we will start talking about the deputy and analyzing the deputy of uh, of the william samuel ruto when they will sit down in a press conference and say that we as Kenya Kwanza, remember Kenya Kwanza is large. We have Ford Kenya, we have uh, UDA, we have Jibebe, we have CCK, we have a lot of parties inside there. Mm -hmm. So when we will start talking about the deputy president, uh, we're just analyzing now the deputy president that is when they themselves have chosen and they have agreed on one thing because there are many things to consider. So there's no problem with anybody saying I want I want somebody I want somebody but because but we but have heard we have heard allegation also that mm. uh, it is regarding Gashagwa is going to deputize. Yeah. So mm. we'll just wait about but that. Yeah, we're not seeing people like uh, Musala Mudavadi who is also there. Who is uh, uh, that's why also I've, an able man. That's uh, why I have told you uh -huh. Kenya Kwanza entails a lot of parties. We have ANC, we have Ford Kenya, we have CCK. They'll need to sit down and choose the best candidate so that they don't lose they need to discuss and agree because there are many things to consider i, I told you they might consider giving it to a woman then they'll consider giving it to a person who will bring numbers because at the end of the day we are looking at the victory you're as running mate and <laughs> <laughs> Nyoro is running this. <laughs> okay you've pinned me to that but uh, i like to say ndindi nyoro is a very good young politician very energetic yeye mwenyewe kulingana na mimi anaweza lakini siwezi sema kwamba apewe hiyo hiyo deputy president kabla yeye mwenyewe ajaitisha running mate yes uh, ye running mate kabla yeye mwenyewe ajaitisha inaweza kuwa kulingana na mimi kumwangalia tu naona kuwa anaweza lakini yeye ndani yake is not ready for that okay yes now, um, quickly, still, um, I'm, 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 uh, they, there is the constituency that you're running for, yes. and there is the ward yeah. that you're running for. Mm -hmm. I want to get it from you, because now this is where uh, uh, we shall be wrapping it, this conversation up on. Um, 
Um, you believe that you've got what it takes to take your word to the next level. Kwa kilisha wako. Um, wale mama boga and mama hustlers mm -hmm. ambao mko nao pale kwenye 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 ward um uh, uh, why you why do you believe that and and if if you may also as as you are answering that particular question uh, also le let us know the plan you've got for the youth yeah um i feel like um i am the right candidate for uh, the hospital ward because of my qualities. Which are? Kitu ya kwanza, mm. kulingana na chama chetu, cha, cha UDA ambayo narrative yao ni bottom up economy. Mimi mwenyewe kama mama mboga, niko gangare na niko tayari kufanyia watu kazi na unajua kawaida kwa familia mm. mama ndio utu wa mgongo wa familia mm. wakati mama yuko nyumbani kila mtu anashiba baba anashiba watoto wanashiba a, vijana wa kazi wanashiba na hata huko umbo huko nje na paka wanashiba kwa hivyo mimi ninaona kwa sababu mimi ninapigania hii kiti ya MCA. Hiyo mm -hmm. ni kiti kizuri sana kwa mama kama mimi. Mama ambayo ninajua kulala njaa ni nini. Mama ambaye ninajua kukosa school fees ni nini. Na saidi wakati mwingi ukitazama na kuangalia. Mama ndio familia. Wakati mambo imekuwa moto sana kwa familia, mzee anaweza akatoroka kaenda lakini mama atasimama pale. Lakini mbele kuna kuna wengine ambao pia wako hapo kwenye ward rep wenye wana vibe pamoja na wewe uh -huh. ambao pia wanasema the same same thing unasema uh -huh. kwamba mimi min, uh, mama hawezi kubali mtu alale njaa. Yeah. Kuna kuna mama wengine pia yes. ambao wako hapo. Right. Lakini mbona wewe? Mimi ni mchapa kazi. Na watu wa hiyo hospital ward wananijua kama mama mchapa kazi. Kazi ni kazi. Mimi ninafanya kazi, <laughs> mama mboga na kazi ni kazi. Na ninajua na amini ya kwamba hawa wakinipa wa hii chance mm. ni wafanyie kazi. I'm really gonna deliver. Na you what about the youths? Youth niko na mpango mzuri sana. Kwanza mm. youths ndi wamenifanya niingie kwa siasa. Mm. Kwa sababu mimi ni mama ya watoto. Mimi ni mama ya watoto saba. Watoto wangu vijana ambaye niko na vijana watatu. Mm. Hawa vijana wameendesha boda boda. Mimi ninajua uchungu ya mtoto kuamuka asubuhi na kwenda kuendesha hiyo boda boda. Na wakati wanapoendesha hiyo boda boda, hiyo boda boda sio yao. Wamepewa. Kuna mdosi wao ambaye amewapatia hiyo boda boda. So mimi ninataka Nina mpango sana na hawa watu wa boda boda. Kwa sababu hawa watu wa boda boda wanakaa kwa jua the whole day. Hawa vijana wa boda boda wanahitaji kuna wengine ambaye wana wana wake na watoto. Na saa zingine wanakaa pale na hawapati pesa ya kutosha. Jioni wanahitaji kupeleka pesa kwa yule mdosi wake. Huku amechukua hii pikipiki na loan na loan hiyo wamepewa interest iko juu. So mimi ninataka ninapoingia pale nione vijana ya kwamba hata kama watapewa hizi mapikipiki na na loan interest iwe chini. Na mimi kama mama yao nitaangalia vile nitawasaidia. Kama nitaweza kuchukua kama 5% ninawasaidia nayo waweze kujisaidia. Na pia nina mpango ya kuwajengea shed ninawajengea shed kwa ili jua isiwapige mvua inaponyesha wanakuwa hapo kwa mvua hakuna mahali wanaweza kujikinga no. right. uh -huh. so mimi ninataka kufanyia vijana kazi ninataka vijana wa, wa fila to at least wawe na mtu wa kukimbilia na kuongea and these are some of the things that we are going to uh, be talking about even in the future yeah. where pale tumefanya makosa ni wapi Yeah. Where have we gone wrong? Where have we gone right? And uh, you know, th those who are vying for these particular positions, what are they coming 
on board with wanakuja na nini wanataka kufanya na of course sera zao wanauza uh, let me f uh, finish with you yes uh, you see as youths uh, we have been told that we are the leaders of tomorrow mm. and i believe tomorrow is now tomorrow is today mm. we are here because uh, we cannot wait until we are 70 so that we start uh, vying for positions and uh, there is uh, the time for change ikifika you cannot stop it and i believe there is this is the time for change even starting from the national level mm. this is the time for change we need energetic leaders and intelligent leaders now within and 20 then, seconds i want yes. to give you time also sorry to interrupt but give me time and to give you time within 10, 20 seconds tell yes. us why you focus around and that's why i was coming down uh -huh. as also i said uh, at the national level we need strong and energetic youths we come now down to kasarani uh we've seen um, for the past four years we've gone really down on the times of social amenities and especially, let me touch for the youth first before even I touch for the others. Uh, we have a lot of talent, raw talent, lying in Kasarani. They cannot be exposed because of the lack of support. Uh, me and my team, we are going to start working with the talents within the Kasarani. Then before we go to the, we we, we finish the, uh, the 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 season four years or five years as when we'll be leading, we'll make sure that the social amenities are again reborn in Kasarani because we have a uh, poor drainage system, we have uh, 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 problems of water and security. Right. So I would like to say this, we the youths, or I the youth, have the capability and the ability to tackle responsibility. We only need opportunity. And this is the time I'm asking the youths that to shikane mkono. Kwa maana, uh, keki sasa itakuwa inakatwa, sisi tukingoja inje. Tuende ndani, na sisi tukate keki ambaye na tutosha, mm. njo tuweze kujigawia. Mm. Atutangoja tena tupangwe. Mm -hmm. e, wacha sana sisi, tuwe pa, pa moja na ile kamati ya kupangana. Lakini ila, ila mbae lipika keki sinupia na anazasema an, an, keki na fake katu ya. Kwaana, <laughs> keki ni yetu wote. So sisi kama watu wa kasarani, the keki mbae natoka national treasury ni yetu wote. Na inaitaji kutufikia na kufanya kazi vilivyo kwa kwenye ground. So ndio ifike pale kwa ground tunahitaji mtu ambaye ameadilika na mtu ambaye anafikiria wa watu wake pale chini kwa ground. Alright. Na huyo mtu is none other than Dennis Kiplangat Maguta sema fire. 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 <laughs> <laughs> na mimi nasema vijana power. Um, power. Yeah. Vijana power. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, because of time, we cannot be able to continue, but uh, I wish you guys the best. Thank you. I will also host you again and again. Uh, but thank you so, so much for coming. Thank yeah. you so Asante much. Asante. Asante. All right. That's like this one in the morning. At, as always, that is the best place to be right here on Y in the morning. At Ram Maguku and at Y254 channel is where you can be able to engage with us. Keep talking to us. Let us know where you're watching us from. And of course, we shall sample your feedback a bit later on during this conversation. We're taking a break. We'll be back in a bit. Remember, we still have another conversation coming your way.